Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio, welcome. If you are new, welcome back if you are returning. So this is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Scorpio. You can have Scorpio anywhere in your chart. So look at here. The King of Wands, the Ten of Swords, and the Three of Cups just fell out. Jezebel. The three people here. You have, oh my God. Can you, can you believe that just happened? I just thought about it. Like, look at this card. You have a man here and he's celebrating with these two women. This is Jezebel and her daughter. I just, y'all, I just said that. And the King of Wands is here with the Ten of Swords. And in this deck, you see this man and they're carrying this other man. It's like, the... A lot of you, you're coming out of situations where you dealt with a distorted feminine or masculine and you're going towards your actual kingdom, husband or wife, but you have to get rid of this person in your life that you cross paths with, that you have this soul tie or sexual tie with who has this Jezebel spirit. This, There's a king of wands out here who is going through this. Some of you... You are supposed to be with this King of Wands. The King of Wands is someone who is very charismatic. They're a natural born leader. Could be an entrepreneur. They could be very good looking. Some of you, you are dealing with a person or you will eventually meet this person who they could they could actually be your person. However, they um they have they have the attachment of the Jezebel on them. They have the Jezebel spirit has attached itself to this person. This person could be experiencing delays right now. You may be trying to assist this person. Yes, you're trying to assist this person because here it is. You're trying you need to shed light on the fact that this person here has um unfortunately gotten themselves in a situation where the Jezebel spirit is connected to them. So here you are, single, self-sufficient, abundant, secure, living the life of your dreams, happy. This person, for some of you, is someone in your life or coming towards you. You are the light at the end of their tunnel. You, you may have um, dreams. You could have some type of gift of prophecy. But your spiritual eyes is probably, look at this, it's showing you that you need to help free somebody. If you want your kingdom spouse you're going to have to get this person to walk away from, boom, Jezebel and her daughter in the background. Wow. I cannot believe those cards came out like that. It's everything I just said. <laughs> I trust my intuitive messages, but I know, you know, a lot of people, they won't believe your intuitive messages unless you have some cards or something. I, I don't know. The cards are really for y'all to see, but the energy is here. However... Obviously, I don't have to have the cards, but whatever. Yeah, you can see a stronghold here. God is allowing you to see that there is a stronghold most likely on your person. And once you see it, you will. there will be accelerated motion where you and someone will be able to move forward. This could be someone that's in your life now or someone that's entering your life. Somebody is indeed, though, I, and I want to say they are the victim of the Jezebel spirit. OK, um, the Jezebel spirit can attack anybody, me, you or anyone. It, it's not that, oh, you have to be a bad person in order to break certain things. Like I said, off of your family, off your bloodline, you will have to encounter demons. It's just it's a part of the design. OK, <laughs> it, you don't have to be bad. But the seven of wands is here. Will you stand your ground? Will you stand up for what you believe in? This is the wounded warrior here. And I feel like there's a masculine here who is fighting, who wants to be with a divine feminine here. But they are juggling. This person is, is experiencing a lot of instability in their life. All right. They may be cold and detached right now. This person has to go through a total death, like a rebirth, a metamorphosis. They have to free. The, they ha This person is needing to rid themselves of this demonic attachment on them that is causing them to be the king of swords instead of the king of wands the king of swords this person is being very analytical um logical they may even come off as a little bit stubborn judgmental at times they seem very self-righteous in their thinking instead of them taking action this person does not realize that 
and, and I have to be honest, at some point their greed, okay, or them lusting after a particular type of person here, all right, um, someone who very well could have been a little superficial, this caused this person to have a fall from grace. So some of you, this person, yes, they did have a fall from grace because of their greed, okay, or, or them being in a lustful type of energy at some point. Some of you, though, this is your person coming towards you. They're choosing you, but this person here, they got themselves caught up in a situation because at some point, their strong desire for a certain type of person, a lifestyle or whatever, it, it has now Got them stuck and stagnant where they're having difficulty now with being in this emperor position. All right. This is the reason, though, why God has sent you towards somebody or will send you towards a person at some point for you to help them to see the truth about something so that a cycle can close out. The reason why, and some of you, because I can already hear that I'm not about to help this person. Okay, that's fine. But let me explain this to you. For some of you, you're a part of your destiny and your life purpose. You have a contract with a person. And until you break this spirit of Jezebel off of the both of you, you will not actually inherit certain things in your life. Because there's some type, it's like you and this person are like a lock and key. You have to come together in order to actually get, um some type of spiritual inheritance or this abundance. The, the two of you, you go together. This this is for people who are truly twin flames, I feel. All right? Um, so you, you can't be in this, well, I'm not going to do this and I'm not going to help this person. This has nothing to do with you physically helping somebody. This is you knowing how to intercede and get into warrior mode in the spirit this is you now it's not about this person it's about you confronting jezebel and jezebel's daughter and saying listen you cannot have my kingdom spouse you will not have my kingdom marriage you do not control my kingdom marriage that is the reason why this is here and if you watch my reading from yesterday there was a person who left a comment and I was talking about how these um, very materialistic type of people, they're projecting all of this energy because those people who feel like um, <laughs> power, prestige, professional titles and things like that is what is going to help them to inherit the kingdom um, of God. They're sadly mistaken. These people think that physical things and tangible assets is what gives them value and it's not. It's, is your heart actually as light as a feather? Are you actually enlightened? Okay, a lot of you too, because right now I'm seeing the woman king, many of you, especially divine feminines, you've gone through so much because you've been battling Jezebel. It's okay if you've had to pretty much like build your kingdom on your own and now you're inviting a person in, but you sort of have your own control over this situation because you can pinpoint and tell this person, hey, the reason why you're going through hardship, the reason why um, your life perhaps is stagnant at this point is because you once were lustful and you were with a Jezebel spirit. No different divine feminine from when you were in a karmic situation with someone. At some point, you thought that by being with a particular man, okay, you were going to have a certain type of lifestyle. Well, that person is a person that has probably broken you completely down. And they're now in a, a life with a karmic person. But you and that person were karmic to one another. This is what everybody encounters this situation. We all have the same type of story to tell. The details are a little bit different, but it's literally... Um, same script, different cast. Okay. Every everybody has had the same seven, eight year karmic situation. But there's a there's a time now where you can come out of this. We're in the year of the number seven, the chariot. You can move out of that karmic cycle completely if you realize that you don't need to be upset with people. Instead, you need to actually be able to confront the demonic entity that is bringing or controlling these people who are in your life. 22, 22 on the clock. Because some of you, whether this is the person that's already in your life or a person that's going to come into your life, in order for you to have the relationship with this person, you have to get rid of Jezebel. And for some of you, it's Jezebel and her daughter. 
And that's the reason why in a lot of my readings, I've been saying it's like you and a person are coming together, but you both, you have these very like jealous, obsessive exes. Okay. It's because Jezebel is coming in and she's causing this chaos, this conflict and this confusion where she is shape shifting and she's controlling you and another person. Because you and another person are mirroring each other and the both of you have both have been with Jezebels before. That's the truth. Ace of Swords. That's the truth. And this, for some of you, it is indeed a twin flame connection. There's going to be a breakthrough in this connection. Hopefully, I hope this said somebody. Yeah, there's going to be healing here. Four swords. Th this type of information, it should heal you. It should allow you to sit back and think. And for some of you, like I said, you have a man here who is resting. They're retreating. They're trying to heal. God is sending you to this person right now to let this person know, hey, you need to master yourself. Some of you need to just tell your person, listen, you have the spirit of Jezebel on you. Okay? You just need to go ahead and let this person know. Be very blunt and direct. The spirit of Jezebel is ruining your life and it's keeping you from me. Even if you and this person, because all twin flames are not meant to be in a romantic relationship. Even if you and this person do not come together in a relationship. Because there is a spiritual tie or contract between you and this person. You still need to eliminate the entity that is controlling the dynamic of this relationship. Because it's causing a stronghold. I cannot make this up. When you communicate this truth, it's going to allow you to manifest a union. Wish fulfillment. I, I'm telling you, I saw these cards in a vision and I, I had to go and find them. This person is going to come into your life the correct way. They're going to step up. All right. For some of you, somebody is coming back. But this person needs to get past these challenges. And, and I feel that you're going to have to, yes, you're going to have to tell this person this information so that they make a change here and it's going to lead to the Ten of Pentacles. This is what's going to open you up so that you will actually be able to have this spiritual inheritance. You have to get rid of Jezebel and Jezebel's daughter. And, and you can't be in your, your ego because for a lot of you that are twin flames, you and your twin flame both are being attacked by the Jezebel spirit. So you and you have a karmic person from your past that has attached this Jezebel spirit onto you. And you're dealing with a person who also has a person in their life or from their past that has that Jezebel spirit. The two of you are fighting to rid yourself of the karmic, but the karmic energy now, like the Jezebel spirit is, it's retaliating against you because you have opted to leave it behind. You're fighting against it. So it's making it very, very upset because it's losing power. This spirit is all about power control, having like dominant, it wants to dominate you. It wants to emasculate these men and it wants to completely just suck the life and the hope out of women. So you and your person are going to have to come together in the spirit and make the decision to say, hey, we both need to get rid of these Jezebel spirits. And neither one of you may be even with certain people physically, but you were with people who, like I said, the energy has now attached itself to you. Not that you did anything bad, but you've been exposed to that entity. Jezebel now is focused on you because you have a light that whoever you were with did not have. So Jezebel is operating through a lot of you like an ex of yours, but it really wants you. It wants your light because you're the one that has the beautiful destiny ahead. It wants to come in and rob, steal, kill, and destroy what you and your person have. So you could be in a relationship or a marriage. Look at this tower. This, this, this truth, this divine clarity and intervention. Oh my God. It's leading to this. Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups. Your King of Pentacles is going to go inward. And see the truth like, oh wow. <laughs> I am under a spiritual attack. The king of pentacles to me sometimes can be a person who's very hardworking, but earth sign people typically are creatures of habit. Heavy Virgo energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Somebody here is like, 
you may have been telling them like, you know, something is just not right, you know, or whatever the case is. The universe, God, spirit, source is coming in now also to work with you. And th there's also this tower with this three of pentacles is this third party energy that keeps interfering in your ace of cups, ten of cups is going to, I feel, be eliminated. But some of you, you are going to have to open up your mouth and tell a person, we are being attacked. Either you need to open up your mouth or you need to get in, in prayer and, and confront this energy and say, listen, I, I know that it's you, Jezebel. I know what you're doing. You can't have me. You can't have my person. You can't have my spirit, babies. You can't have my life. I see you. You're going to have to unmask this Jezebel spirit. Justice. Wow. Justice and the Hierophant. Jezebel will be left out. There will be a marriage, a commitment between a lot of you. And look, five of pentacles. Somebody here will be left out in the cold. There's a karmic energy for a lot of you in the 3D. Okay. A karmic energy has already been left out in the cold. But because that karmic person carries that Jezebel spirit, that spirit is now attacking either you or your person. But if you have this strength, this courage, this resilience and tenacity to say, no, I know what you're doing. When you sit, when you share this with your person, they're going to be able to combat this energy to, to like get it off of their back. And then they can come in with an offer, something that is grounded and it's stable. This may take time, but at least you know that you can build your life with a clean slate and the Jezebel energy will be removed. So let me just say, oh temperance balance peace harmony this is amazing ace of wands fire energy page of cups this person is going to probably have to apologize to you because i feel like they've caused a lot of burdens in their life and in your life it was because they were under an, under an illusion this person like i said was being was receiving a lot of um this person was exchanging with someone that they thought was a star they thought that this other person was a star. This other person, though, was someone who was causing conflict and chaos and was housing a demon. <laughs> Pretty much. Your person was under some type of illusion or you've been under an illusion and didn't know. So judgment is here now. You get to walk away from this situation. It's not like you walking away from you. Some of you, you're walking away fully from a past situation or you're realizing that there's been an um, entity or energy attached to you because of a past situation. This is your opportunity now to walk away from it completely. Like, yeah, you walked away from that person physically, but that spiritual tie, that cord has still been there. You have the king of cups, the high priestess here. Oh, the three of wands and then the queen of cups. So here's a spiritual connection. This king of cups has to open up, okay? Tell the truth. Lead with their heart. Because you're a high priestess. And also the high priestess is here. This is like something here is just written. Um, it, it's very ancient. It's mysterious. But what's coming in here or what someone is waiting on is the Queen of Cups. Some of you, you truly, especially my Divine Feminists, you are indeed like um, this person's saving grace. Now, what I'm seeing, though, in the spirit is for a lot of you, you've been sent to a lot of people. And you were supposed to be their saving grace. And they refused to let go of the Jezebel spirit. Some of you now, you are encountering a person and this is where you have to really look at the bigger picture. Either you're with a person or you're going to meet a person. You're going to have to battle Jezebel to be with this person. Okay. What the Je what all the situations in the past has is trying to make you think is there's no point in you trying to be with this with somebody because there's always going to be a third party situation or whatever. So if you're bitter, angry, and resentful, and you say, I'm not going to pray for that person or whatever, then you're going to miss the boat. But let me tell you something. And this, this is a real aha moment. If you notice, for some of you, 
every single person that you deal with, it ends up being a third-party situation. At some point, you need to stop. You're, you can't let Jezebel win. If you meet a person and there's the connection there and you can see yourself being with them, take the focus off of that person and fight Jezebel. Because you can let every single person go in your life. Every person that comes towards you is coming towards you with the spirit of Jezebel. Because Jezebel is using the vessel of every person that comes towards you to cause chaos and conflict in your life. So even if you let Jezebel get this person out of your life, the next person is going to be the same thing. You need to defeat Jezebel. It's not the person that you're fighting. It's Jezebel because Jezebel is using that person's body to try and hurt you spiritually. So if you find yourself, like I said, you meet a person and maybe five of cups, they're disappointed. You know, they're feeling regretful about a situation. There is an opportunity for this to change. But as a divine feminine, for a lot of you, you're the one that has the gift of sight to be able to see, hey, I think your life could be better. Or maybe we could build something together. But you have just gotten out of a relationship with the Jezebel spirit, or maybe this person that you're dealing with, maybe their mother carries the Jezebel spirit. Whatever the case is, the Jezebel spirit is running around, dictating and controlling situations to make sure that connections that are destined are sabotaged. So just, again, there's a lot of key points there. How many times, yeah, Jezebel wants you to be in this, um, Two of Swords energy. You and a person are always at odds. You're always in some type of stalemate situation. There's no love or anything in your relationship. Or there is an illusion being painted to make you think that. The I just saw the Four of... Was that the Four of Cups or Four of Pentacles? I want you to see the card though because... Yeah, here it is. The Four of Pentacles. Jezebel here... Is hovering over you or your person. Anytime you or someone or your person are happy and wanting to invest in the connection, Jezebel is always there in the background. So in the 3D, it's like, oh, well, this person, who whoever's in their life is always watching. But in the spirit, it's Jezebel. So take yourself out of the 3D reality of, oh, you know, they've had a, an ex or whomever that's bitter, jealous. If you get rid of Jezebel, this person won't be a problem for you anymore. See? Some of you too, your person, they may not be that spiritual. So if you talk to them about the Jezebel spirit, they may be like, what are you talking about? Don't worry about it. Just the fact that you can confront it is going to automatically shift the energy. <laughs> so... Next time you talk to this person, because right now the full moon is, is about to happen and we are in eclipse season, there's going to be an eclipse in about two and a half weeks. These different demonic entities are raised in hell right now because they are soon about to be eclipsed out. But yeah, the energy is going to eclipse it out, but you need to set your intentions to eclipse that energy out as well. You need to be letting God know, yeah, God, I, I know right now I need assistance in getting rid of this. You know, around the full moon, you also have people who, witches, wizards, and warlocks, they're sending this energy towards you, okay? Some of you, and I, I've been saying this a lot for the last few months, pay attention, look at that, y'all, I can't make this up, Empress and the Emperor. There's a divine union here that is under a major attack from Jezebel, and not just Jezebel, Jezebel and her daughter. Um. So what's the, th this also with the full moon is you have people who... They know that you are coming into union. They are sending the spirit of Jezebel to cause chaos, confusion, conflict, and separation with you and your person. I'm going to tell you what some of you should do, especially if you have a person in your life right now. Okay. Um, when you see this chaos and this conflict and the, the fussing, fighting, arguing, or the tension coming about, Confront Jezebel then and let Jezebel know, listen, 
we're going to have peace and harmony here. You cannot control me, this person, or whatever it is that we're building. And instead of you buying into this toxic energy of being at odds with that person, fight Jezebel by creating opportunities for you to have um, peace, passion, and harmony. And for some of you, if you're not physically with a person, this is a time for you instead of being like, oh my goodness, because maybe you're seeing something online or whatever, and it's, it's an attack that is being sent to you, just like if you watched my reading from yesterday, that person that left that really, really nasty comment. And I in the reading, I was discussing how this person was saying, you know, that a high value man would never be interested in like a tarot reader or a high priestess. That is the spirit of Jezebel in our collective right now that is projecting this energy onto you to make you think that you are not someone's choice and that they are because this energy wants to use like distorted perception of value to make people who are divine have distorted desires so that they will go away from kingdom spouses and partners and go to be in karmic relationships. I don't really like to call out people, and come, but that, that, that comment and that type of energy, it triggered me so deeply and it has really unlocked this, like this download that I've been getting now for months. So I really hope that this helps someone because this is what's happening. Yeah, the tower. Here's the tower and the, the empress. There is a masculine here who most likely is about to have a real aha moment about a feminine. Yeah, this person here is about to find their sunshine, their joy, their happiness. They're becoming enlightened. The tower and the sun, something is being exposed here. I feel like for some of you, um, yeah, justice. There's a decision that's being made here. Some of you, you need to go ahead and you need to speak up and speak out and say, listen. Again, especially if you are communicate, if you're in communication with a person. Okay, before, because there's a lot of different things happening astrologically. Something is going to happen. Um, one of my one of my friends who is an astrologer um, actually told me something. I don't know if Venus is going in retrograde in a few months or something like that, but that may cause turbulence in relationships. If you this year want to go into your like a, a physical union with somebody, you're going to have to start speaking up and speaking out about what's really going on. You may be the more spiritually aware person, and that's fine. But you need to tell this person, listen, I think that we have a future, but there's an energy that is affecting the two of us. Pay attention to the signs, the symbols, the synchronicities. The communication is needed. Once you open up your mouth and you communicate the truth, a few weeks ago, the throat chakra was under... Um, a major attack. These demonic entities and spirits don't want you to speak out because there's power in the tongue. Once you start speaking out, justice is automatically served, especially if you're a very powerful um, divine feminine or masculine. Look at that. Nine of cups, four of cups. You should be in this happy energy, but every time you get to this happy energy, all of a sudden you're feeling discontent and bored. Or like something is missing. This is the Jezebel spirit. It's playing with your mind or with your person's mind to think that what is truly wish fulfillment is, is impossible to have or it's not really there or, you know, your person is focused on someone else. Now, this is not for people who are you're dealing with a person and you know that they are willingly just <laughs> with somebody else. This is for a lot of you who you and another person, most likely both of you are single, but your relationship is still having issues with moving forward. Okay. I do feel like this is for singles as well as for people who are currently in actual relationships. I'm not talking to a lot of, of you who are separated from a karmic. I'm, this, these are king. These are like kingdom partners who are trying to come together but the interference is the jezebel spirit i'm not talking about those of you who you have a person and they just want you to forever be their their mistress or their their side person yeah knight of cups
See, look at what I just said. Nine of Cups here. Please don't be this mess. If you're dealing with a person and they've shown you over and over and over that they chose the karmic, that's where they want to be. You need to leave them where they are because this situation is going to always leave you disappointed. I'm talking about the people who you and someone else, you both walked away from karmic relationships, but you still are struggling to have the type of progress that you want in your connection now it's perhaps more spiritual and it's not becoming a physical union yet it's because jezebel is interfering it's a difference if you know that this you you're in love with somebody and they're in a full-blown marriage or commitment with somebody else a house car kids and two dogs this is not you needing to say hey the Jezebel has you, but I know you're my person. If they've already chosen to live a karmic life, then, you know, honestly, let me let me stop saying that. I'm not going to say that, but you can lead a horse to water. You can't make it drink. If you're even if you're a person, some of you, you can tell them this information. If they want to stay with the Jezebel spirit, especially because of money, finances, security and stability, they have to eventually make the decision themselves that they want to walk away from this situation. This is a more high vibrational group of people that this message is for. I'm talking about you and another person. You know for a sure fact you do not want to be in a karmic relationship. But it ha it's becoming very difficult for you to have your kingdom partnership. It's not because you're fighting your exes. You're fighting the demonic entity of the Jezebel spirit that was connected to your exes that has now tried to connect itself to you. You are the divine feminine, whether male or female. 44, 44 on the clock. You're protected. Yeah, nine of swords. No, no need to stress because you have someone here that's about to come in and they're going to really put forth the work. Okay, but now... Look, you need to show somebody and prove to them, listen, you, here's a Jezebel. You have a person here who is a Jezebel spirit that is causing instability in your life. You're dealing with a person here who has a double mind. You, this page of swords here, th th this is a masculine who is under an illusion. They need to see that the reason th they're dealing with a person who plays both sides and they have to make a choice. Some some masculines have already left the karmic behind, like I said, and now the karmic is angry and upset and sent this Jezebel spirit is attacking them. Some masculines, they haven't left the, that karmic behind, but maybe if, they're, if they were to actually see, hey, that person is a Jezebel spirit, then they would. But look, you have the, what is this, page of pentacles, ten of pentacles. Here's the ten of cups and the sun. This is going to be a beautiful outcome for some of you. So don't be afraid to... Say that pray, to pray and get the Jezebel spirit out of your life. Because once it's eliminated, you go to the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Sun. The Page of Pentacles, for some of you, this is a child that you will have or it's just a solid new beginning that's going to lead to a lot of joy. Yeah, and Jezebel is going to be very stressed out because she's going to be left behind to deal with whatever foolishness she has sent out into the universe here causing all of this chaos just mayhem for some people this is definitely someone here who was or is married or has children with somebody the person that they're with causing this um chaos and conflict they just need to be left because someone here has a true counterpart a true love somewhere I hope that this made sense. Um, I also saw this deck. I have to go and dig this out. I don't even know what this deck is called, but I got it off of Etsy. Control issues here. So, passing soulmate. This says some soulmates don't last forever. However, they will teach you and leave you forever changed. Don't try to hold on to them once it's over. So again, for some of you, you could have like a soulmate or someone in your life and maybe you just need to tell them, hey, I think that you have a Jezebel spirit attached to you. Maybe that's the reason why the connection between you and this person is not working out or maybe that's just the reason why they're having issues. And maybe this person, um, somebody here could have control issues 
you know, the Jezebel spirit will make a lot, it, it controls people, men and women. And oftentimes when a person can't control their life, then they will try to control you or other people around them. So you could be dealing with a person who they're, they're having these control issues right now. Okay. Because like I said, they're being dictated and controlled by a Jezebel spirit. So if you have this type of person in your energy, you need to let them know, listen, that Jezebel spirit on you can't control me. You and Jezebel need to sit down. Something here will happen in divine timing. Okay. And you have here false hope and repetitive cycle. Wow. This says attachment. So-called love over romanticized. Okay. So for some of you, there is, a, um, there, there's like a counterfeit here in a real person. For, for some of you, like I said, you, a person is attached to us, to someone, and you're, st you may be staying hopeful about a relationship with someone, but false hope and repetitive cycle is here. You could be thinking that something is going to happen in divine timing, and I'm not saying that it won't, but someone here has to recognize that they are attached to the idea of a relationship working out with someone who wants to stay connected to a Jezebel spirit. Okay. It says here, get to know your attachment pattern so you can be more conscious in your romantic relationships and stop self sabotaging. So for some of you, again, going back to like the empath narcissist paradigm, make sure that you are not trying to force a person to be in a connection with you who is perfectly fine with having this Jezebel spirit attachment. It says the connection is so intense it almost feels real. You cling to their good qualities to avoid seeing the negative. Is it love that you feel or an addiction? So this could be someone in your life or this could be your person, someone that they're dealing with. Somebody here really thinks that a situation, it's love, it's meant to be. And it's a repetitive cycle of nothing but false hope. So make sure that you're not over romanticizing some type of relationship here. Make sure, you know, just make sure that what you're fighting for is, is what God truly wants for you. All right. But for some of you, again, if this isn't you over romanticizing a situation, you could be connected with someone and they really thought that a relationship was real and it wasn't. It was it was all based on an illusion. You have lessons here. It says you have agreed with the other soul to have and provide valuable life lessons for each other in this lifetime. Find the lessons within this connection. If you're looking for a long term relationship, finding someone you're compatible with is key to avoid a very challenging relationship and resolution. You are reaching the end of a cycle or about to start a new one. The answers you seek are about to be revealed to you. Yeah. Karmic. Even though this is a karmic connection, it is meant to help you grow and heal so that you may find your true soulmate or twin flame. So for some of you, um, friendship just fell out. It says this romantic union will be grounded in friendship, a very playful connection meant to teach you to have a more carefree attitude. Mm, here's watching you. So yeah, in mania love. Wow. Twin flames. Twin flames and false twin flames. See that? I told you it's a real one here and a, and a counterfeit. Somebody here is watching you and you have, it says the kind of love leads into madness and obsessiveness, often wanting a reinforcement of your own value, which can lead to codependency. Somebody here is still both physically and spiritually attached, attached to a very karmic, um, person who definitely carries the Jezebel spirit this person's obsession with you or your person they're constantly watching you this is this is what's causing issues in a relationship for some of you that has the potential to be very um very healthy and harmonious but this person is watching and they're sending 
this evil eye and this negative energy towards you and your person. So it's like for some people here, obviously it's very spiritual, but there there's people in your physical life who carry this Jezebel energy who are still sending this negative energy towards you and your person. So your, your ex could be, you know, sending you the evil eye and it's causing issues with all of your relationships or, you know, your the, whoever you're connecting with their ex um, or both of your exes are doing this. Um, I can see the confusion, though, because it's difficult to see. Look at this jealousy. And you see that snake wrapped around? Jealousy is a major sign of a bad relationship. Small doses is okay, but when it's ruling your connection, it may be a sign to let them go. Arguments. Somebody here is just like in a very toxic situation, and it's built on nothing but false promises and false hope. Okay, so you will know. Like, if you know you and someone, you're constantly fussing, fighting, arguing with this person. For some of you, it is because the Jezebel spirit is it's, um, attacking a relationship that's meant to be but for some of you you are holding on to a karmic relationship either you or your person needs to see that it's not just a jezebel spirit that's attacking you you and somebody really don't need to be together <laughs> take it however it resonates i i don't want to give too many scenarios because it'll start to get um confusing for some people but yeah this is for sure like the evil eye being sent for some of you, like I said, you and your person both, you both have um, a karmic ex that has a Jezebel spirit and it's attacking you because maybe you and this person are getting closer. Divine timing is at play. You and someone, you're getting closer to a union. So this Jezebel spirit is like going crazy and you're receiving a noble dose because it's attacking you because it wants to hold your person and the Jezebel spirit in your life is attacking your person. Cause, look, causing you to miss an opportunity. And you guys should notice too, like if you, especially if you're in a connection with someone, if every single time you and this person seem to have a breakthrough, if all of a sudden chaos and conflict or every moon cycle, all of this drama comes about, that's the one that's purposely sending that energy to you. Someone is jealous and envious of your connection. So the jealous, envious, bitter ex, that's a Jezebel, causing you car problems. Yeah. Like, again, that's that energy that Jezebel trying to, especially for like a man, emasculate this man so that they, it, it wants to slow down movement, you know, or it could be whoever causing, you know, flat tires, engine problems, dead battery, anything to stop or slow you down or to delay you. You know, if a person doesn't have a car, then it's harder for them to be able to go out on dates or to travel or to, you know, even get to work. Like somebody here is just like sending so much negativity towards a person. You may want to get some black tourmaline. Tourmaline. <laughs> it helps to um, repel negative energy from the body, the home. It says you already know who this person is. So for a lot of you, look, copycat trying to be just like you and do everything that you do. Somebody, I'm telling you, this is a Jezebel, a copycat Jezebel spirit. This person is trying to act as if they are like you or you have a person that's trying to act as if they are like you're a twin flame or your soulmate and they're not. Your ancestors, your spirit guides, angels, and guys, they have your back. They are fully aware of what's going on. But like I said, you just need to make sure that you're doing the work to say with your own mouth and be intentional in your prayers that you want to get rid of this. Look, envious of your children and your pregnancy. Unintentional. It says they don't realize they are sending you the evil eye with their words of action. So, yeah, this is someone here who... Look, it says the person causing you negativity is a fire sign, spreading rumors about you, causing you to feel lightheaded and have severe headaches and migraines. Some of you, this fight, some of you too, um, Spirit just told me this because it, it's making me think about a reading. So for some of you, you have a friend or a family member. They could be a fire sign. They don't have to be. Um, but I think about like the, the queen of wands, king of wands energy. And it's also, oftentimes people who are very attractive and also very seductive. So it definitely could be someone here who um, 
uses passion, lust, and sex a lot, just like the Jezebel spirit, of course. And they're sending this energy towards you to attack your relationships. This could be a friend, a family member, um, a, a lover or an ex-lover. Some of you, you're sleeping with the enemy now. And the reason why you're not getting to the relationship of your dreams is because you're not letting this person go. Some of you, it's an ex-lover and they are looking into your life or your person's life and they're causing all of this chaos and conflict. You have here the person causing you negativity is a water sign. So you have a water sign out here and a fire sign. Yeah, that's causing cycles of bad luck. Unfortunate events are happening. Yeah, because misery loves company. It says they like others to be miserable too so that they can feel better about themselves. A family member is hating on you, hating on your creative ideas, business rival. Someone is jealous of your material lifestyle, your home, your cars, your clothes. Wow. <laughs> hating on your psychic and spiritual gifts. This person wants to block your solar plexus and they're jealous of the attention that you receive from others. Hmm. Yeah, so this is just a very angry, um, mean-spirited, jealous, envious person it's that they just they are the spirit of jezebel this person wants to block you from having you know courage and i know you guys right now it's very confusing because it's just like when you listen to people talk about spiritual spouses you can be in a relationship or a connection with a person if you notice that they their behavior is constantly switching 